Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. You still with us, Marston? Just about. Post-game, John can find some mysterious writing all over Blackwater. The first one is in the alley by the restaurant. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. John will, of course, inspect. These hieroglyphics look Aztec. What could it mean? And what are ancient Aztecs doing in Blackwater? Is it a modern cult, much like the Chelonians? Should John be concerned? And here is our exact location. The second one is on the waterfront. Here you go. And the map. All of this water is making John very nervous. Let's move on. The third is atop the sheriff's office. And your map. John will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow. In addition to links for the new merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. And then across from the stables on another rooftop. Roofs make sense as the Aztecs worship the sun. However, John wonders if someone was sacrificed up here. And here is our exact location. And are you thinking what John is thinking? Hello. Well done, John. 
let's move on. Round the stage. Best way to see the wind. Lady. And finally, behind the theater. Partner. Morning. And your map. And here is a map I made of all of the locations for your reference. Don't say I never did nothing for you. John is confused and unable to decipher these writings, however, Reddit figured it out over two years ago. The pictographs are converted into a series of numbers, don't ask me how, and those numbers are a simple alphanumeric code, which, once deciphered, reads, Blessed are the peacemakers, Iotiotl. Recall, Blessed are the peacemakers is the title of a mission in Chapter 3, and also the epitaph on a certain tombstone in Red Dead 1. See how I avoided a spoiler there. Did you like how I did that? John likes how I did that. However, Iotiotl is a major character in Undead Nightmare. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotiotl. Ayotiotl, to quote Wikipedia, is a Mexican goddess related to dawn, night, vanity, and fame. And also zombies, apparently. John needs to return her jade mask to her altar underneath the governor's mansion in Mexico in Undead Nightmare. Now come, let's put an end to this. Return the mask. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. How do you know? My name is Ayotioto. Ayotioto. And then John goes home, checks in with Jack and Abigail, who are happy to see him for once. John? There you are. Well, whenever trouble starts, I can pretty much guarantee you'll ride off into the sunset. You feeling better? Yes. I mean, once that boy stopped trying to bite me, everything felt much better. I'm starving, though. Jack? Me? Oh, well, I only felt better once that mad look left your eye. Please, Dad, don't leave me here alone with that woman again. Uh, excuse me? I'll try not to, son. <laughs> uh, I've heard that before. Uh. Well, let me fix us something to eat. Please don't. We've had enough dramatics for one day. <laughs> and then Seth steals the jade mask once again and presumably time travels back to 1899 and sells it to the fence at Saint Denis. And here is Ayotiotl's jade mask at the Saint Denis fence. Arthur wanted to show off his new panther cloak. What does the panther cloak have to do with Ayotiotl's mask, you may ask? Not for me to say. However, aren't you impressed how I am able to pronounce Ayotiotl? Just saying.
This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Sir! Hi, mister. What's the matter with you? See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius.